guys, my name is Katie and welcome to this video for the Key Stage 2 Math Sats Understanding Ratios and Proportions. Okay, so this video specifically deals with ratio and proportion. Okay, so helping you achieve 100. So I would like you to meet Lolita. She's one of our superheroes and she is part of the superhero group which is found in our Key Stage 2 Maths is Easy guides which can be found at www.howtobecome.com or you can visit Amazon and you can search for Key Stage 2 Maths is Easy and you will find our guides which will help you improve your maths stats exams. She is here to help you achieve your 100 and she is renowned for her marvellous expertise in mathematics okay so she's going to soar through this video and help you with some of the questions okay so ratio so what are ratios well they're a great way of comparing numbers so they compare one part to another part so here we've got eight squares and as you can see five of the squares are shaded in and three of the squares are not okay so the number of shaded to white squares can be written in the ratio of five to three okay so these little dots here represent the word two or to every five to every three so if this said um the number of white squares to shaded squares you would have to write the three first okay so Depends which way the words are written, depends which number would come first. So this is asking for the shader bit first. So you'd count the shader bits first and put that before the dots. And then see what the uh, second word is. And this would be after the dots, okay? So just bear that in mind when you're writing your ratios. Okay, so top tip. It's important that you write the numbers in the correct order, like I just said. If the question asks for the shaded to white squares, you must write the number for shaded squares and then write the number for white squares. Very simple, but many students seem to fail to comply with this simple um, understanding of ratio, okay? Another top tip is ratios are often written with the use of the, the um, two dots. So, like I said, it means two every, so five to every and if you added these two numbers together, you would get the whole thing, okay? So this is two parts, but when added together, you would get the whole thing, okay? So what are equivalent ratios? So the word equivalent in terms of ratios means to find other ratios that are equal to the original, okay? So you can find equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing, and you can find equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing both parts of the ratio by the same number, okay? It has to be the same number. You can't divide one part of the ratio by two and the other part by, what, like five, okay? It has to be the same number, okay? So let's have a look at some, some examples. So let's say we started with 10 over 9 or 10 to every 9. For an equivalent ratio, if you wanted to go up higher, you could um, times it by 2 to get, and you can double this, so you could get 20 over 18. This is exactly the same as this, okay? It's just a, a bigger number to work with. And this is also the same as 40 to every 36, so this is 20 over 18, it's just half of this, okay? So 80 to 72, again, you've just doubled the previous ratio but it still it still represents the same it's just an equivalent ratio and this one again you've just doubled the numbers okay so you can if you had 160 to 144 and you were simplifying it to this in its simplest form you could simplify it down to 10 over 9 okay because this could be divided by 16 okay Again, this shows exactly the same thing. So if you start with 60 to 78, you could divide it by, let's say, 3. And it gives you the ratio of 20 to 26, which is equivalent to this. Or if you wanted to go down to uh, its simplest form, you could divide it by uh, 6. And it would give you 10 to 13, okay? So 
whether you're multiplying or dividing, you need to use the same number. So as you can see here, it's dividing by or multiplying by the same number. Okay? So an example. So for the following sentence, write the correct ratio. Sammy eats seven sweets, Michael eats nine. How would you write that? So it'd be seven to nine because it's asking you for this part first and then that part. So this is separating the two numbers, seven to every nine. There are 14 girls and 13 boys. Again, so you'd write your answer 14 to 13. Mike has 12 basketballs. Jordan has three. So we would have um, four over one or 12 over three, 12 to three. But this can be simplified to four over one. Okay. Um, for every six marbles John has, Stacy has five. So you could write six to every five. For every three goals, Harrison scores, Ryan scores four, so you can write three to every four. Okay, so it's very simple uh, ratio questions, but you will be expected to know this for your maths um, SATs, okay? Let's have a look at another question. So, Lolita needs your help. So, remember the superhero, superhero that I introduced you at the beginning of the video? Now, she needs your help, okay? So, below are ten cards... Each card has a ratio, so help Lolita match the equivalent boxes from the top row to the bottom row. So the first one has been done for you. So like I said, you can simplify ratios. So 6 to 1 is equivalent to 42, by, um, 42 to 7 because both numbers can be times by 7. Okay, so let's have a look. So 22 to 10, so which numbers on the card is the same as that. Well, you could divide this by 2 to give you 11 to 5, which is the same as that one. So you can match that one. So 30 to 15. Okay, so let's have a look at what ones we've got left. So the 15 is half of 30, so you know it can be joined to 2 over 1 because 1 is half of 2. 34 to 16 can be joined to 68 to 32 because it's just doubling both of these numbers. So 34 to 68 is times by 2. 16 times by 2 is, again, 32. 4 to 5, this is the same as 64 to 80. Okay, So you're just times in the number by the same in order to give you your equivalent fraction, um, equivalent ratio. Sorry. Okay, so here's an exercise, and I would like you to write your comments, your um, answers in the box below this video so I can have a look and see how well you're doing. Okay, so work out the ratio of white to shaded triangles, okay? So white to shaded triangles. So uh, work out the ratio and then write your answer in the, um, in the comments box below. Um, work out, well, that's just your example, okay? So work out the ratio of shaded segments to white segments. So here we've got that. And I would like you to write your answer in the comments box below. Okay. So work out the ratio of white rectangles to shaded rectangles. Again, write your answer under the, um, the link below. And work out the ratio of shaded triangles to white triangles. So using this, work out the ratio and... Leave your answer in the comments box below. Again, I've got another exercise for you to do. So she also, uh, Lolita also needs your help again. She wants to put these ratios in their simplest form, okay? So can you help? Okay, so this is our example. So we've got 4 to 16. So this can be simplified to 1 over 4 because both of these numbers can be divided by 4. Okay, top tip, you have to do use the same number to for both of these so whether you're multiplying or you're dividing you've got to use the same number okay so 70 to 20 so what is this in its simplest form so write me your answer again write the your answer to 64 to 32 write your answer in the uh, comments box below 84 to 40 again write your answer and i will let you know whether you are right or not okay so proportions so 
proportions are very similar to fractions, but instead of comparing two different parts like ratios do, we compare one part to the overall whole thing, which is what a fraction ultimately does. Okay, so let's say you had eight boxes, and two of the boxes are empty and six of them are full. Now the ratio of empty to full boxes can be written as two to six or simplified to one to three, okay? So that is your ratio, but to work out the proportion of empty boxes, this would be written as two in every eight boxes. So you're working out which part, which is your two of your boxes, which are empty, out of the overall to total. So you, the amount of boxes you have is eight in total. So it'd be two out of eight, okay? But the proportion of full boxes would be six in every eight, okay? So remember this, the last bit here would be your total. Okay, so ratios and proportion are not the same, so you need to be able to distinguish which one is which. Okay, so take a look at the following shape. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we've got 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 9. Okay, so by simply using this example, we can see that the proportion of shaded rectangles is 3 out of 9 so proportion remember you're taking the part which is the shaded so you've got 3 out of the total which is 9 the proportion of white rectangles would be 6 out of 9 okay so the ratio of white to shaded rectangles is 6 over 3 remember you're using two parts which when added together would give you the whole the ratio of shaded to white rectangles would be 3 to 6 again this added together would give you the total of 9 now the fraction of white rectangles is 6 to 9, which is very similar to the proportion of white rectangles we've just worked out here. And this can be simplified to 2 over 3. The fraction of shaded rectangles is 3 over 9 or 1 third, which again is the same as the proportion of shaded rectangles as shown there. Okay, so just take a look at the difference between proportion and ratio and the similarities between proportion and fraction okay so your first example so match the fractions with the equivalent proportions the first one has been done for you okay so five eighths is the same as saying five out of eight okay very simple but you know it can be confusing if you don't really know how to work with fractions and proportions Okay, so three quarters, you can link this to nine out of 12. Okay, so you, as you can see, if we um, multiplied both numbers here by three, which would give you the same, it's equivalent. So one, uh, one third, so what number card can you link it to? Well, we can link it to seven out of 21 because both numbers can be multiplied by seven, which would give you seven, seven times three would give you 21. Okay, so one half, so 12 out of 22, well, that's 12 is not half of 22, so it has to be 30 out of 60, okay? So 60 divided by 2 would be 30, okay? So it's last but not least, 6, six elevenths can be joined to 12 out of 22. So both of these numbers have just been multiplied by 2. Okay, so exercise 3. So this one, again, I would like you to write your answers in the comments box below. So Lolita's favourite chocolate is Smarties. She only eats the red, yellow, green and orange ones. Okay, so the ratio of these colour Smarties are in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 1 to 2. Okay, so this 2 here is represent, representing the first bit there, which is red. This number 3 is representing the yellow. Number 1 is representing green and number 2 is representing orange. Okay, so here are your coloured Smarties. So Lolita picks out of picks out all the Smarties that she does eat, okay? So like I have shown here. She has 72 Smarties to eat of the colours that she does eat, okay? So she's got 72. Write down how many of each colour she she eats based on the total number of Smarties, okay? So write your answer to what you think the how many she has of each colour, okay? So write your answer and I will get back to you to see whether or not you've got the right answer. Okay, so have a look at that and try and work it out for yourself. Okay, so you need your answers for red, yellow, green and orange. 
Okay, so that completes this video for the KSH2 mass ratio and proportion. And if you found this useful, we do have a Key Stage 2 Masses Easy Guide for Ratio, Proportion and Algebra, which Algebra will be um, discussed in a later video that I will make for you. And for more practice test questions, um, please visit www.howtobecome.com for these Key Stage 2 guides. There is like five of them and some practice test papers as well that you can um, you can purchase. I would like to. I would like you to um, sub subscribe to the channel for free, and uh, like this video, and drop me any messages below if you have any videos that you would like me to do, or if, we, or if you do have any comments regarding the Key Stage Two Math Sats exams. Um, take care, and I hope this video has helped you and your child for th their uh, Key Stage Two Math Sats exams. Take care. Bye.